I had a message on my answering machine. Um, hi, I'm trying to reach Carlton. This is Madonna. And I was like, what the fuck? Welcome to the festival. Um, I'm Alice with UK Film News. Um, so you are a choreographer, dance captain, and dancer for uh, Madonna's iconic Blonde Ambition Tour. Um, please. Well, I'll, take, I'll take the role of associate choreographer because Vince Patterson was the, the choreographer and I give total props to Vincent because he knocked it out of the park. I'll, I'll add modest to that list. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can you please tell us a little bit about yourself um, and how you got involved in Madonna's tour? Oh gosh. Uh, well, back in the day, I didn't want to be a dancer actually. I sort of fell into it. Uh, I had no money and uh, dance was easy and I got an agent not long before Madonna's tour and suddenly I was working and um, I went to her, I heard about her huge dance call with like 5,000 people on both coasts and I went to the audition and um, danced my ass off and was hired as associate choreographer, not as a dancer. Uh, but when she saw how I, w how I was interacting with the other dancers, she fired one of the other dancers and brought me in as a dancer as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was it like walk, uh, working for such an icon? Oh gosh. Um, well, at the time, I didn't know how famous she was, and I think she's become much more famous and iconic since. Um, but at the time, I was listening to lots of college rock and The Cult and The Cure and you know, it, underground more stuff and and. Um, so pop music, I listened to like Michael Jackson and Prince. So when I when I heard about Madonna, uh, it, I didn't realize the level of, of fame that she had until we were actually on the road and actually on tour. Uh, when it really seemed, I mean, once we're in front of seventy thousand people, it sort of hits you how famous somebody is worldwide. Yeah. Tour is about freedom. Freedom as a human being, freedom in regards to speak the truth. I still vaguely fit into it. <laughs> it was a wild, high velocity family. Each one of us would have taken a bullet for each one of us. This sort of daring progressive message was that you can be gay and human. I want to be like those guys, be that sort of free and open. I saw two men kiss for the first time. Like, you know. Do we care what people think of us? No! How did you come about to working on the documentary? Were there stories that you felt that weren't told? Oh, I mean, there were hundreds and hundreds of stories that weren't told. Um, there's hundreds of hours that were not shown. Uh, we were filmed the entire time we were on the road. And, and just the editing process alone must have been madness. Um, there's a lot of, um, there's, the movie is her story, and it's the journey of the tour as a whole, but I don't think it really delves into our personal stories, um, and that's what Strike opposes for. Bring it back down, what's your secret? Faking that you're strong, faking that you are confident. Faking almost all of it. You hold it With AIDS coming out and HIV, everyone got really scared. It was terrifying. No it's terrifying enough to scare people into silence. There was a whole other backstage, you know, that you didn't get to see, that none of us were ready to talk about. And it's hard because this is the first time, so... <laughs> Was it difficult re um, revisiting some of the memories? Gosh, um, you know, the only memory that's been difficult to revisit has been Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel Troopin died in 1995 of AIDS. Um, he was my best friend and closest person to me on the tour. Um, you know, I, n I don't know if I ever really had a f uh, the time to properly grieve. I, w I was out of the country when it happened, when he died, and um, having this experience has been a sort of a painful beauty. You know, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to remember him, um, to have him come alive in, in the hearts and eyes of so many others. 
um, to see him on the big screen, to see his eyes light up, to see his smile, like that's so beautiful. It's so it's it's very painful to hear how much he went through. I mean, I know what he went through. It's just difficult to hear it again and again as we as we watch the movie. So, I personally have a, a very sort of visceral. Uh, strong response to the movie when I watch it every time, every single time. I thought it would get easier and it doesn't. Uh, well, it's a beautiful tribute and I'm glad that his story actually gets remembered through it. Um, is there something that you hope the audience takes away from watching? Um, I hope, well, I hope people take away a sense of the value of courage, um, a sense of that life, life has resolution, um, that friendship can last forever. Um, and one thing I've learned about myself in these past couple months of this movie being released is that I had no idea of the impact that we had on others. And I think that's huge. You never know what impact you have on others. And you may never know. Um, I feel fortunate that that now we know <laughs> for ourselves. And what it does for me is it has me re revisit and review my entire life and all those moments where I told myself, you're not worth anything or you can't do this or you haven't made a difference or dancing behind some random pop star doesn't mean anything or that you, know, you haven't had a voice or that you haven't impacted people and why are you doing what you're doing? I have to look back at all those conversations I had over the past 20 years and realize that they're all just stories in my head that I did make a difference and that we did make a difference and that maybe the world is a better place because of what we did and who we were just by being ourselves. I think that's absolutely beautiful and um, you've always been kind of an advocate for never compromising on your dreams um, and I, I think I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head where uh, no matter the impact that you have or the scale of it that you should always be um, a positive influence and that's something I absolutely adore. Absolutely. I think that's very key. The scale of the impact that you make is not important. You know, I'm, I'm more proud of teaching my little brother to ride a bicycle when he was having difficulty riding a bicycle than I am of my SAG award or that I am of being on stage with Rihanna. Like, it, it's, not, it's not how grand and how, how much people acknowledge it. It's it's just that you've made a difference for one person or more or whoever, and that you've tried and that you've made an that you've made an effort. Well, thank you so much for being such a positive influence. Um, why do you feel these uh, festivals, like the the East End Film Festival, I mean, they're very independent. Um, why do you think that they're important in showcasing um, the artists? Oh gosh. Um, well, I think independent work is where all nitty-gritty stuff comes from. I think, you know, the, the corporate world and, and, and large companies that are, that are lots of cooks in the kitchen and lots of branding and, and other, thing, other concerns outside of the art of it, um, I think they dilute the messages of, of some works. And I think uh, places like the East End Festival are, are, are wonderful grounds to show young minds and create creatives that are doing something unique and interesting and, and um, it's, it's always good to support the arts, it's always good to support young artists who, are, who, are, who have a voice to give a, a platform for people uh, to share what they're doing. I mean, I think the entire world of culture moves forward because of, of smaller independent movements and places like this, not, not from the giant corporate world, that's just a, that's a, that's an effect of this. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed the screening, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And real slow. 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 Be proud. You know, be proud, whatever it is. Because everyone is someone.
is your phone, right? Yeah, well, it's, uh, the camera is actually here, but oh. it's, yeah, it's meant to be for oh, drones. That's, oh, that's so awesome. So it just has like this like stabilizing thing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it allows me to get it. That's how I was going to introduce yeah. the live TV person from um, London Live TV, which is up channel 528, yeah. and they were super impressed with this, weren't they? They have all this, like, Super live equipment. This is this is this is the future. I'm trying really hard. Good job.